Assalamualaikum everyone. For today's science year 4 lessons, I would like to share with you the tips to answer the success book page 7, 8 and 9. Okay, now all of you open success book page 7. Okay, you see at the bottom of the page, okay, there are diagrams here. Okay, in this diagram, there are three spans different sizes and three beakers of same size. Okay, for the first step, put the three spans of different sizes into three different beakers. Then, soak the spans for five minutes in the water before taking them out. Observe the volume of water left in the beakers and then record the results obtained in the following table. So, Dari sini eh murid-murid semua nampak kan ada tiga span berlainan saiz direndam dalam tiga bikar. Bikarnya sama saiz bila uh, apa ni isi padu air pun sama. Tetapi yang tak sama ialah saiz span. Okay class. Now let us see the question. What is the aim? So teacher told you Already before this, to answer the question, you must begin with to investigate the relationship. Okay, this must uh, remember. And then, what is should we put here? This is the manipulated variable and this is the responding variable. So, the manipulated is the size of the span. Apa yang tak sama tadi, cikgu kata ialah size span. So, you put it like this. And then, the responding is the rate of water absorption. Maksudnya, kadar serapan air. Okay. Jadi, kita sambung dengan ayat dia. To investigate the relationship between the size of span and the rate of water absorption. Dalam bahasa Melayu, untuk menyiasat hubungan antara size span dengan kadar serapan air. Okey, itu ialah jawapan untuk soalan aim, tujuan eksperimen. And then, pernyataan masalah. Okey, what is the problem statement here? Does the size of span affect the rate of water absorption? Okey, adakah size span mempengaruhi kadar serapan air? Okey, now go to the hypothesis. So, if you see here, the hypothesis, you put like this. If the size of span increases, then the rate of water absorption will increase. Maksudnya, jika size span semakin bertambah besar, maka kadar serapan air akan bertambah. Cikgu juga ada ajar kamu gunakan perkataan the more. Okay, hari itu eh. Kamu boleh tulis macam ni juga. The more, if ni tukar jadi the more. The more the size of span, in, okay, increase tak payah tulis dah. Okay, mas, macam ni. The more the size of span, okay, comma, the more the rate of water absorption. Ha, itu sahaja. Okay, now we proceed to the question of manipulated variable. Okay, as what I told you just now. What is the difference is the size. This one is small, this one is medium, this one is big. So, we put it like this, size of span. And number two, responding variable is, apakah yang bergerak balas? Okay, rate of water absorption. Okay, kadar serapan air. Dan apakah constant variable dia? Okay, yang sama Dekat sini sebenarnya ada lebih daripada satu jawapan eh. So, in here, it put like initial volume of water. Initial maksudnya isi padu awal air. Selain daripada tu, constant variable dia boleh jadi juga the time to soak the span. So, as you see just now, it is 5 minutes to soak the span. Okay. So, that is the constant variable. And... Now, okay, this is the question that you have to answer.
Okay, class. Now turn to next page number eight. Okay, there is a, a table there. You have to put in your answer. Teacher, no, you don't uh, do the experiment. So teacher give here. Okay, for small span, you put there the volume of water is 30 ml. Eh? Medium is 20 and big one, the water left is 10. Maksudnya, air yang tertinggal dalam bika selepas direndam. Selepas rendam dah tentu air tu akan diserap oleh span yang besar lagi banyak. Jadi, yang tinggal sikit saja. So, that mean the biggest uh, span, the water left here is only 10. Okay. So, uh, for, uh, soalan seterusnya. Okay, which span can absorb more water? So, surely from here is span, the big one, the big span. Okay, number two. State one inference for your answer in number one. Kenapa? Inference dia, kenapa yang big one tu, dia absorb more water? Ha, jadi, soalan dia. So, the answer is the span Okay, has the uh, thick, thickest and the biggest surface area. Okay, so that is the answer. Okay, class, now we proceed with question 3. What is the relationship between the size of span and the volume of water left in the beaker? Okay. So, maksud soalan dia, apa hubungan antara size span dengan isi padu air yang tinggal? So, dua perkataan ini mesti kamu hubungkan. So, the question, you answer like this. If the size of span increases, the volume of water left in the beaker is lesser. Okay, maksudnya kamu letakkan MV dia kat sini. Dengan corak kat sini, the trend. Dan RV kat sini. Dan corak dekat sini. Okey, itu cara menjawab soalan ini. Okey, bahasa Melayu. Jika saiz span bertambah, maka isi padu air yang tinggal dalam bika semakin sedikit. Okey, question number four. What will happen if cotton wool is soaked in a similar bika filled with water? Take the correct answer. So, the prediction is... The volume of water left is the same as the big span. Maksudnya, kalau dia gunakan wool kapas, dia pun mengira air. Eh. Jadi, di air yang tinggal, dia lah sama seperti span yang besar. Sebab dia boleh serap banyak air. So, as the conclusion here, the biggest the size of span, the higher the rate of water absorption. Okay, itu cara penggunaan uh, ayat dia. Okay. Okay, class. Now, page 9. The bar chart below shows the number of names of friends recorded by five people aged 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 years old respectively. So, you study the bar chart here. This is the age. This is the number of names of friends recorded. So, kalau umur 20, the bar chart is higher. 30, dah lower. Then, seterusnya. Then, based on the bar chart above, what is the trend of change in the number of names of friends recorded from age 20 to 60? So, daripada sini, dia nak kamu tuliskan trend. Kalau trend, kamu tengokkan dia punya uh, bar chart, dia punya apa ni, pattern dia. Daripada yang pertama sampai yang bawah sekali, sampai umur 60. So, daripada tinggi kepada bawah. Okay, that mean the, it is decreases. The answer is simple. Just tulis decreases. Atau, ataupun bahasa Melayu, berkurang. Itu sahaja. Okay, for questions B, give one inference to explain the trend of change in A. So, trend tadi ialah decreases. Okay, why? Inference dia kenapa? So, uh, umur 60 tu makin kurang orang yang mengingatinya. So, the answer is the aging factor. Okay, faktor peningkatan usia. Then, soalan C. State one way to help memorize the name of our friend. Okay, so the answer is write their names on their photos. Okay, itu cara mengingat ya. Then, number D. Predict the number of names of friend that can be 
recorded by someone at the age of 80. Kalau umur 80, adakah lebih banyak lagi yang akan diingati? Ha, itu soalan dia. Okay, so the answer is less than the recorded by 60 years old. Maksudnya, uh, kurang daripada apa ni, nombor yang boleh diingati oleh umur 60. Dekat sana dalam bar chart tu dia tak, tak nyatakan nombor. So, we cannot credit the actual number. So, you just put the answer in sentence. Okay, next. Oh. Okay, students. For today's task, okay, do the exercises in the success science book, page 7, 8 and 9. Eh? And then you take the data in page 8 as below. Okay, tuliskan data ini. Yang ni, yang nombor ni. Dalam tu. Jangan biarkan kosong. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye.